In this episode, Curiosity takes a huge risk and climbs a very steep hill to get on top of a ridge, loses its balance, and takes a 1.8 billion pixel image. After taking two drill samples at a site known as Glen Ative, Curiosity takes a selfie. These annotations show the crater rim in the distance, as well as Vera Rubin Ridge. Curiosity has made a lot of progress through Glen Torridon, formerly known as the Clay Bearing Unit. While the team at NASA celebrates Thanksgiving, they order the rover to complete its biggest panorama yet. This image contains nearly 1.8 billion pixels and is the most detailed image ever taken on another planet. The view looks over the whole Glen Torridon area, with Vera Rubin Ridge in the distance. We can see the rover's tracks through the Clay Ridge unit. As we zoom in on the formidable Mount Sharp, we can see a ridge. This is part of what's known as the Green Hue Pediment, and Curiosity will eventually have to climb up it in order to access higher layers on the mountainside. Curiosity makes good progress towards the Green Hue Pediment and currently sits on a small hill known as Western Butte. The plan for now is to simply drive up to the Green Hue Pediment to get a better look at the rocks there. This visualization shows the proposed route. The rover is currently on its way to touch the Green Hue Pediment before it will track back around into the clay bearing unit once again and then head to a more accessible route onto the Green Hue Pediment. The rover edges closer to the Green Hue Pediment. Geologists desperately want to gather data from the top of the structure, and so talks begin among engineers about a possible climb for Curiosity. Then, on Sol 2649, Curiosity wakes up with a bad attitude, quite literally. The rover is feeling dizzy and stops all operations. Just like us humans, Curiosity needs to have an awareness of itself relative to its environment. This data is normally stored in its memory and tracks things like the angle of the slope it sits on, how close its arm is to the ground, and if there are any big rocks nearby that could pose a hazard. The rover evaluates this data before engaging any motors to make sure that any movements can be performed safely. When the answer is no, the rover freezes in place and waits for the ground team to guide it on the next move. The team at NASA discovers a problem with Curiosity's attitude. The aerospace definition of attitude is how an object is placed in a 3D space, basically its 3D orientation. So we can confidently say that Curiosity currently has a bad attitude. After the ground team informs Curiosity of its proper attitude, the journey continues. This map shows Curiosity's current location on Sol 2654. The rover is now very close to the overbearing green hue pediment. To access data from the top of Green Hue, the rover will have to start climbing. Although this takes the rover on a little detour from its proposed route, the engineers agree that it's possible and worth the risk. Before making the climb, Curiosity uses its dust removal tool on a nearby rock. Multiple exposed mineral veins are present in the image. The team decides this area would make a good drill sample, so Curiosity drills another hole this time on a rock feature called Hutton. The drilling goes ahead perfectly without any issues and produces gray amorphous tailings, enough for the sample inlet. If you've noticed, each time the rover drills, the colors of the tailings are different from the reddish surface. This is the first hole the rover drilled on Mars. Evidently, the tailings in this hole are reddish in color, similar to the interior of this drill hole at the Aberlady site in the clay bearing unit but here at Hutton, it's more grayish. Can you guess why? It's because oxygen reacted with iron in various parts of the rock differently. The tailings on the left are red because oxygen had the opportunity to react not only with the external rock surface, but also the interior. However, the image on the right tells a different story. The oxidation could not penetrate deeper into the rock in this case. 
This is particularly interesting for scientists because this kind of sedimentary rocks can house the traces of organic life in the past. Rocks preserve traces of ancient life better when they are not oxidized, because oxygen can break down the organic materials before they fossilize. Although the rover's drilling went well, it was far from elegant. The surface Curiosity sits on is so brittle that the rover's wheels crack the sedimentary rocks, turning them into detritus and powder. As it looks for a way up the green hue pediment, the rover catches an incredible close-up view of the ridge from below. These stratified layers are called nodules. These rocks are completely different from those of the clay-bearing unit but somewhat similar to those we saw at Vera Rubin Ridge. Before we climb, here's a quick message from our sponsor. Henson Shaving is proud of the product they've built, but understands that changing the way you shave may be a little daunting at first. Safety razors were initially developed to reduce the amount of skill required to shave, thereby reducing the need to visit a professional barber. Henson Shaving has taken this early safety razor design to the next level by designing a razor that holds the blade in place to a tolerance within 34 micrometers, less than the thickness of a human hair. This is all possible due to their prior experience as an aerospace machine shop. They made parts for one of the Mars rovers and the International Space Station. This makes shaving with a Henson razor even safer than modern cartridge razors, leaving less irritation and overall a pleasant, smooth, and luxurious experience. Go through the link in the description or enter the code ELDERFOX at checkout to claim 100 free blades with every razor purchase. Another Sol on Mars and another chance for Curiosity to take a selfie after its successful drill campaign at Hutton. From the data that Curiosity has collected so far, scientists are now convinced that Gale Crater was an oasis of water in the ancient past. Water ran through the Geddes Vallis Channel and spilled out into the clay-bearing unit. The green hue pediment resisted erosion and essentially became one big shoreline. On Sol 2693, Curiosity begins the climb up the green hue pediment. These raw images show the angle of the rover as it climbs. The incline is more than 30 degrees. It's considered a very risky move, but engineers are comforted by the fact that it's not the steepest climb a rover has performed on Mars. The Opportunity rover previously managed an even steeper climb, yet only by fractions of a degree. The rover quickly takes a drill sample from the top and looks toward Mount Sharp. There is no viable route from here so the rover must descend the hill and get back on the official path. As the rover turns around to descend, it captures an incredible view from the top of the green hue pediment. In the distance, we can see the crater floor, where Curiosity began this formidable journey. The rover is really making strides now. In the next episode, the rover continues to climb Mount Sharp, captures stunning images, takes more selfies, and makes good progress towards Geddes Vallis Channel. Click here to watch. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest discoveries.